Well, several lawmakers are calling on Congress to provide first responders with benefits for work related PTSD. Research so shows 85% of our first responders experience some form of this disorder. News Channel 5's Aaron Cantrell joins us live. And Aaron, the people in this line of work are exposed to life threatening situations at times, and that can lead to post traumatic stress. Yeah, Rebecca, you know, they really are. And compared to the general public, first responders are 25.6 times more likely to develop some sort of PTSD, which could lead to suicide. So these lawmakers, they are calling on Congress to do a little bit more to protect them. So if this legislation was to pass, it would address gaps in support for public safety officers who become disabled by post-traumatic stress disorders or lose their lives to trauma-linked suicide. Now, according to the local nonprofit Serve and Protect, more police and firefighters die from suicide in the line of duty. Now, yesterday, the Tennessee Attorney General Herbert Slatery and the District of Columbia Attorney General Carl Racein led a bipartisan coalition of 53 attorneys general urging Congress to pass the Public Safety Officer Support Act of 2022. They say many first responders struggle to access mental health care, and the families of those who die by suicide are deprived of benefits. While the attorney generals admit this bill will not prevent suicide and trauma, they say it would create an avenue for officers to apply for disability benefits for PTSD. It would also allow work-related PTSD benefits for the families to also be received. And this has received a lot of support from both Republicans and Democrats. In fact, the Fraternal Order of Police and several police organizations have spoken out in support of this legislation. So, of course, we will continue to follow this and keep you updated.